Antonio Spurs. And the Spurs start out with the ball. So with Williams on the bench, here's who Rick Carlisle's going with. We've got the great one. Jackson is out there with Turner. Then it's Halliburton. And it's Wilcox in at the two guard. And when he's on the floor, offensive rebounding is always going to be a strength for him. Greg, he keeps so many possessions alive, doesn't he? And you know, those second chance opportunities can be game changing. He represents so much value to this team because of what he does. So the San Antonio Spurs able to put the first points up on the board. Hardaway from outside. Excellent defense there from Halliburton. There's Captain Clutch. First shot, first pass. He's out of the blocks fast. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. And let's get your take, guys, and the hustle stats for the Spurs. Well, I think the defensive aggressiveness on display here has caught him off guard. Playing airtight defense and coming up with a steal. And one thing, Clark, I've noticed is how quick their hands have been tonight. Thanks to that, they've gotten a lot of points off of turnover. And that's life above the rim, courtesy of our AT&T 5G Slam Cam. And another fast break chance here for the Spurs. Here we go. And yes, it's good. Defensively, giving up far too many open Indiana. rhythm looks. And to battle back, they've got to shore up the defense. I mean, there's no other way to come back from a deficit unless you play good defense. So the Pacers call timeout their first of the game. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. Yeah, you know, let's look at the numbers, guys. I mean, they are being taken to the woodshed in the paint. And a chance now to see how teams are faring across the league. Here's the latest edition of the Power Rankings. We'll take a look at the Pistons. They're gaining on some of the teams above them, trying hard to crack into that top five. And San Antonio, they've been sinking on this list to start out the year. Not what they or, or really anyone else expected, but that's why you play the game. And the basket by one. Excellent all-around performance so far, hence the big lead. Yeah, you know, they've had the advantage at both ends. They've got all the momentum early on. Now, here is Halliburton. Outside Jackson. Pass to Wilcox. It's good, the assist this time from Jackson. And that's an important basket there. The game was in danger of getting away from him here early if they let that run go on much longer. Ball's not loose. It's deflected, and he recovers it. Hardaway goes in. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And Hardaway's nickname came from his grandmother. She was calling him pretty. But with that southern draw, it sounded like Kenny. The Spurs shooting their first free throws of the night right here. The first one falls. Miller's checked in for Indiana. And so he hits both. Probably as close to a sure thing as you can have at the free throw line. Hardaway with the steal. And it's sent back by Turner. There's the defensive presence they want from Turner. Hustling and using his mobility to send it back. He's somebody that's really comfortable carrying the offensive load. It's stolen by Wilcox. Four on three as they bring it up. Miller with a wide open look. And again, three it's four. the Pacers from deep. Great idea to pull up and take the transition three there. The D was in position to block his path to the hoop if he took it inside. Hardaway goes in. And just flew it off the dribble. Great length to finish. And Hardaway attacking now with purpose. And here's Miller. He'll bring it up for the Indiana Pacers. Trailing here by eight. They defeated the Pelicans in their last game. And the bench turned up in that one. Whatever they couldn't get from their starters, they got from the reserves. Well, you know, you hear about the importance of having depth all the time. Bench players that contribute. And last game, time out, time out. their bench came a lot. He knew what he wanted to do all along. The teardrop. And San Antonio calls the first timeout of the game. So San Antonio going with an almost entirely new group here. Big Daddy's checked in for Big Daddy. Slim comes in for Captain Clutch. Edwards, he's checked in for the kid. And Freak subbed in for Hardaway. In Sanity, he's checked in for Indiana. The kid comes in for Wilcox. Pacers trail by eight. Knocked loose. 
In transition, here comes San Antonio. Edwards leading the charge. And their offense already in a flow. Some still are shooting to jump out to this thing. Quality foul. looks they're getting, and they're capitalizing on them, guys. They have to be happy with this start offense. Bull, he's checked in for Miles Turner. Now, here's Bull. There's Miller with the three. That's a miss. He's made one and missed one. Going in. Oh, yes, sir. I'm on the spring. I like their focus coming in. Terrific execution so far. And you know, it's an all-out effort they've come in with. Very aggressive offense so far. Here's the kid. Miller outside. Here's the kid. Pass to Bull. Here's the kid. Lock at six. Off target with his three. Swim passes to Freak. To the left wing. For three, Outlaw bangs home the trifecta. Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flame. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming, attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. And so it's San Antonio. Feeling good about their 17-point lead heading into the break. And they're winning the turnover battle very easily in this one. We've got more in store for you right after this. And glad to have you with us, folks. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. And, you know, the Spurs have been rolling right along, haven't they? Well, you can see these guys are unafraid to take chances defensively. Well, you know, the defense, guys, is just disruptive, active, and energetic, and you can't afford to be loose with the ball against these guys. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter of play. On the court right now for the Spurs, Slim is out there with ABC. Then there's Edwards, and it's Big Daddy, and it's Freak in at the point guard position. Well, he's certainly been on target with the free throws. Such an advantage when your bigs can knock them down from the line. Here's Big Daddy, and it's blocked. Here's the pass to Askins, Halliburton, and that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Yeah, how about the body control on that one? Narrowly misses getting the deuce. Boy, he had a nice look at it after drawing the foul. Boy, it would have been nice to get an and one there. He's gone two for two at the line so far. That's good from Halbert. Captain Clutch, he's checked in for San Antonio. And the Pacers also making a change. Jackson, he's checked in for the great one. And working, Kevin, themselves to the line here in the second. A nice way to get your offense going. And maybe cause some foul trouble along the way as well. We know what that can do. It pays off typically in good fashion for you. Not watching the line there. That'll be a backcourt violation. And just a little too lax with that possession, and it cost him. And I tell you what, more brain-neutral plays like that one, and they'll have a hole deeper than the one they're already in. And a chance there to look back at the stunning mobile one block a moment ago. And guys, that block could really help change the momentum of this game. They get the rebound. The big daddy passes to Freak. And here's Outlaw from the arc, and Bull pulls it down. Pacers trail by 15 and stolen by Outlaw. Into the lane. And that shot misses everything. Air ball on the three. They get a hand on it and stolen by Freak. And he uses both hands to jam it in. Well, there you go. One team operating on all cylinders at both ends. Steals, fast break buckets, and the other team in scramble mode. Knocks it loose. Up and in on the way. Freak's got four points in the quarter. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now they've allowed from point blank range. Can't happen. Man, what a pass that was there. He really, really relishes making the game easier for his teammates. San Antonio calls timeout. So San Antonio going with an almost entirely new group here. 
Big Daddy's checked in for Big Daddy. Captain Clutch comes in for ABC. The kid, he's checked in for Captain Clutch. Hardaway is subbed in for Freak. Then for the Pacers, Turner comes in for Bull. And Wilcox is subbed in for Miller. The defense not putting up any fight on the inside. They've allowed 10 straight points in the paint. That's not the kind of streak you want to be part of defensively. Tighten it up, fellas. Beyond the arc. Pacers with the rebound. Jackson in the corner. And he's good on the three ball. Jackson's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. D just sagged off just enough and no hesitation on his part. Two open that time. Made it look too easy. And the Spurs lead by 19. But we come at us, and we're coming right back at you. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. Good job getting the ball and completing that play. Boy, there's not much defense available once a steal is made. That's the best time to attack on the break. And again, it's San Antonio with a three. Just look at what a sniper he is from long range. He's got such an unusual skill for a big fella. Here's Waters, and that one is hammered home. And Hardaway, Penny Hardaway. Boy, what a terrific passer he is. Great floor awareness and does an excellent job finding the open man. And the Pacers call time here. They're trying to stem the tide here. Yeah, you know, they had to do something, anything to stop this run. You can't just let it go on any longer. Edwards, he's checked in for Slim. The Pacers also changing it up. The great ones checked in for Insanity. And it's the kid in for Halliburton. Oh, that was a strong dunk. Ooh, that's an old-fashioned rim wrap. Just a remarkable gem. These fans' jaws are on the ground right now. Platinum-level highlight reel material. That is showtime stuff there. For San Antonio, they've gone two for three at the foul line in this game. And the first one at the line is good. Both good from the line that time. We've got 113 left in the second quarter. And they get it back. Goes back up, and the layup is good. And it's six points for the great one. That kind of energy and hustle on the glass usually produces good results. Passes it to Waters. It's in, and he's a very efficient five for six on the game. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. You're exactly right. It's been all good at one end. And let's be diplomatic and just say not so good at the other end. Oh, fellas, that was vicious two-hand monster slam. Guys, I don't think there was anyone who could have stopped him on that one. Well, guys, I'm glad they didn't try because I don't want anybody to get hurt out there. The kid passes to Wilcox. Now here's Turner. Driving to the basket. Edwards with the block. And Askins gets it to go. Askins has gone four for four from the field. Perfect so far. Here's the kid for the three. Knocks down the three ball. The kid's got five now. And so it's the San Antonio Spurs having no problems at all. Up 29 points heading into the next quarter. The scoring has been tremendous, and they are shooting lights out with very high accuracy. And don't go away. We'll be right back. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson. Shaq is here. Kenny's here. You're watching the NBA Halftime Show on 2K Sports. San Antonio did not hesitate to set the pace. Looking absolutely unstoppable off the tip, they put together a masterful 12-0 run. Everything went their way in the first quarter. They were up by 18. Then in quarter number two, it was all hands on deck, and what a show it was. Quality execution, good efficiency, some tremendous defensive play. Helped them take a decisive advantage, and they're running away with this one. Kenny, what was your take on San Antonio? There was no shortage of dimes on this team last year. Numerous guys displayed good court vision, moved the ball, led to great shots. They're in full control of this game. How about you, Shaq? What did you think about Indiana? First question, why can't they hold on to the ball? 
I mean, they've been loose as heck with it, Ernie. Not even getting a shot up on several possessions. Even if you take a bad shot, there's a chance it goes in before you get a defensive board. But hold on to the ball. And that should do it. With the second half about to begin, let's send you back to Kevin Harlan. Go back to Kevin Harlan. Go. Just go over there. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. What a game we're seeing from Penny Hardaway. Well, with a double-double in hand through two quarters, you can just imagine what his stat line will look like at the end of this one. Yeah, he's got that locked-in look in his eyes tonight, and he's not going to start taking it easy. I think he's going to be going hard until that final whistle blows. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. So with Williams on the bench, here's who Rick Carlisle's going with. They've got Tyrese Halliburton, the great one out there with Turner. Then it's MP, and it's Jackson in at the three spot. Count that one. Waters got it going here in the start of the second half. The first points in the third quarter for the Spurs. Knocked away. Halliburton passes to Turner. That falls. Nice feed that time from Halliburton. Man, I love watching Turner pull up for the jumper. Always helps to have a bigger guy who can shoot the ball. To the inside. And here's MP for three. That shot off. So the Spurs will take it the other way. Here's Outlaw. And then Outlaw slams it in. Oh, I dunk you very much. <laughs> he, he can really fly. And you combine that, Greg, with some nice penetration, too. And you've got two points. A lot of bounce ability there, guys. I mean, well above the rim. Timeout, That's what makes him San dangerous. Antonio. San Antonio calls timeout. Uh, adjustments are a part of the game, and the coach sees something he doesn't like here. And you know what? We'll see what changes he makes coming out of this timeout. A different look now for San Antonio. Big Daddy's checked in for Big Daddy. Slim comes in for Captain Clutch. And Freak subbed in for Hardaway. Then for the pace force bowl, he's checked in for the great one. Insanity comes in for Jackson. And Miller's subbed in for Wilcox. And the foul Seven called on free. Foul. That is his first foul Number of the game. 20. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Third quarter of play with just over a minute and a half gone by. And here's Miller outside. Four hits three. the three-point bomb. Miller's got six. And you're asking for more trouble than you can handle if you're going to let him just roam free from beyond the arc. Freak with it, and it's Miller picking him up. All going up court. Number Here he comes, and there he goes. Ugh, look at him punish that rim. Boy, the guy's on the bench loving every minute of that one. I'm glad we got to see the mobile one block once more. What a play. Yeah, quick thinking pays off big. What a block. An outstanding defensive play to earn the mobile one block. And that block might serve as a spark for this team. We'll see if it can ignite them. And San Antonio has possession. Now the Pacers moving it up. Oh! oh. And Assisted that one is line. stuffed right through. And great hustle to turn that block shot into a fast break opportunity. Big time play on both ends. And again, Indiana running the floor. This is the time they wanted to mount the rally and get back into it. Exactly. I mean, it had to happen here in the third. Now they've got the run going, and I think they've got to keep it going now. He gets it in there. When you allow good scores to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. You know, he should be getting extra attention from the defense, not less. Nice open look, but it's no good. So it's San Antonio now. The kid passes the freak from past the arc, and Bull pulls it down. Bull's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. And Slim picks up the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. Edwards, he's checked in for San Antonio. Captain Clutch comes in for Freak. The kid, he's checked in for the Pacers. There's a minute 40 left in the third quarter. Spurs foul. 
Pacers have been that solid at the line so far. Foul. Four for four. Third team foul. Shooting for Indiana. First free Two throw shots. is good. We're seeing a lot of top high school players opting for the G League over college now, Greg. What's your advice to top young players on their path to the NBA? And well, Kevin, I think you just answered it. It's their path. And I, and I don't think the same path is right for everybody. There are going to be a lot of talented young men and women who want to go to college for the experience, you know, for the environment, uh, for the networking, right? You're going to make some of the best friends you'll ever have in, on a college campus. Having said that, though, some kids aren't in the college in the school they want to just go and pursue their passion and their, their craft and that's why I think the G League and the developmental leagues that are out there are so good for these young players and Edwards with the stuff sensational ball movement there when you pass the ball like that good things happen here's Miller eight points for him has to turn it. Indiana moving it around down low, insanity. And then all of a sudden, things finally coming together for them. The deficit still large, but now not insurmountable. That kind of deficit, I think they're going about it the right way. I mean, they've got to get aggressive on defense. They need stops. And then you got to take care of the basketball at the other end so you get a good shot every trip. Yeah, coach's pet peeve there. No box out. Those are free points you're giving away. You've got to work harder on the glass. Stolen. To the right side. Here's the kid. And the last second attempt doesn't fall. The three quarters of play all in the books. And this one all but over already. It's San Antonio delivering the blowout. And coming up as soon as we... How about a look at today's State Farm assist of the game? Just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? And they'd love to see every possession in this way. True team basketball. And one quarter to go in a game that to this point has not been an evenly fought contest. Captain clutches out there with Big Daddy. Then there's Hardaway. Then there's Edwards. And it's Captain Clutch in a shooting guard. That's the San Antonio Fox. Good on the three-point shot. That's a textbook example of how to move the ball. Boy, you got to love that action. It's Hardaway with the drive. Watching Hardaway take over games, love it. Remarkable score. He can fill it up in bunches in a hurry. Pacers trail by 21. Tipped away. In transition, here comes San Antonio. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. What? You, you mean the throwdown at the end? I'll tell you what, fellas. I mean, the highlight shows are going to pain them even more. Attacking in transition, the most consistent way to generate easy looks. Yep, exactly. And if there's any opportunity for early offense, you've got to push it and push it every time. A different look now for San Antonio. Junior's checked in for Big Daddy. And it's Duncan in for Edwards. The Pacers also changing it up. Smith checked in for Bowl. Warren comes in for Jackson. And Heald subbed in for the kid. Here's Junior. And the layup's good off the glass. Junior's got his first two points. And a closer look here at the hustle stats for the Spurs. Defensively, they played with a lot of energy. And, and the steals we've seen are a result of that aggressiveness. They've repeatedly gotten out on the break tonight as well and scored a lot of baskets in transition. Now Heald. Smith kicks to Heald. Shot to stop the run. A shot missing. No matter what looks they get, they just can't convert to stop this run. And, you know, they've got to be careful because this is when the team concept breaks down and guys start playing hero ball. It's stolen by Wilcox. Here's Smith. Good in the assist goes to MP. Wilcox has got three assists in the game. The pass to Captain Clutch. From beyond the arc and then some. Captain Clutch has got five points now in the quarter. And this offense is in a perfect rhythm. And you can see how they're finishing their plays. 
Boy, this is borderline ridiculous. I mean, every single attempt finding the bottom of the bucket. Hardaway with it. Now defended by MV. And you're just not going to see him do that very often. Usually when he rises up, there's a guarantee it's going down. Haskins. San Antonio with the rebound. Two minutes. With the drive and the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And Greg, you were a hard-nosed defender. Would you be frustrated by what they're calling a foul today? You know, I, I would based on how I played. But if you grew up in this era, this is just the way the game is. And you have to adapt and adjust. And that's what you're seeing with the players. Guys can defend it every bit as good as they ever have. In fact, I would argue they're better defensively today because they're not allowed to grab and hold. So the league is focused on offense. The fans seem to love it. But at the end of the day, you still got to get after it Indiana defensively. Foul. Therese Halliburton. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for your Spurs. And the first one drops. Four. At the line for two. That one falls, so he hits both of them. And there's a minute 45 left in the fourth quarter. Another steal. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. That's his second personal foul. Third team foul. First one falls for him. And in this era of player empowerment, Clark, do you think star players have ever had more leverage than they do today? No question they have not. With social media, the platforms players have been able to build, the following the NBA has, not just domestically but globally, all of that has converged to give players a significant amount of power. And not to discount the fact that players are more aware and educated in so many of the business aspects of the game than I've ever seen them. And that's um, an encouraging sign from my perspective. The kid passes to Robinson. Excellent D there from Williams. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on him. to stop the run. He can't get that one to fall. And it's the Spurs taking it the other way. Here's Duncan, and Duncan gets double teamed. Robinson passes to the kid. There's 45 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Six to shoot from the arc. Rebound by Smith. Yeah, and you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. To the paint. Here's Warren. Second chance shot. That one, no good. Nice D from Duncan. Here's Junior, and he uses the glass on the layup. Defensively, you just can't afford to give these easy looks up. Just asking to get burned if you do. And so it's Halliburton who brings up the ball for Indiana. And it's Smith finishing it off. And in terms of size, not your typical center. But man, he plays as big as any of them. Thanks to that terrific leaping ability. And it's just competing. You know, giving your best when it matters most. Yeah, you know, once they got victory in their view, a huge injection of energy and great run to finish it off. And so it's San Antonio easily taking this one. It was a tale of two teams tonight, one that was in total control, operating flawlessly, and the other just searching for answers that they could never find. I mean, the energy here is just so tremendous. Fans involved from the get-go, and once they started to really pour it on, it was fun to see that rhythm and flow from their perspective. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for being with us. And we'll...